I'm going to be using them with this Power Mac G3. I, it says G3 right on the case. I'm not sure why it took me so long. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm Men of the Street, and today I am showing you the setup of my new Ethernet over Powerline adapters. Now, I purchased these from Monoprice um, for about $75. They're rated at 200 megabytes per second. I purchased from Monoprice because I've had some very good experiences with them in the past with um, audio equipment. So, uh, yeah, I got that from them for, yeah, uh, including shipping around $75. Now, you can get these quite cheap at, like, Walmart for, like, 40 bucks. But, um, you know, you, you kind of get what you pay for sometimes. And um, Ethernet over Powerline adapters, as the name suggests, what it does is it lets you um, basically connect Ethernet cords to two adapters. They plug into different outlets in your home. And they basically send the signals um, from those Ethernet adapters in their own proprietary format um, through your home's power lines. And then, you know, the one adapter sends them, and the other adapter, you know, receives them and puts them through the Ethernet cable that's put into that. So basically what this is for is for easy home networking. Um, you know, if you need wired internet in a room, but you don't, uh, you don't want to actually run Ethernet cable through your house, then these are great because, you know, power lines are already in your house. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what these are for. Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically, uh, my entire house's internet is going to be running through this, but you can use it just for a specific computer. Um, yeah, basically what it does, once again, is it just takes Ethernet signals from one Ethernet cable, sends them to the other adapter, just spits them right back out. Uh, and, you know, it goes both ways, of course, because, you know, Ethernet cable, that internet, it, it has to be that way. Now, the main issue that I um, was kind of internally having when I was deciding to purchase these was speed. Um, I went with these over wireless adapters um, because, I mean, first of all, I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist. I published that uh, effects of wireless um, technology on health video a couple of weeks ago. But um, aside from that, I, I, you know, web servers, I really need some speed, and I feel like uh, the power line adapters might be a bit faster. I mean, they're rated at 200 megabytes per second, which my internet is about 30. So yeah, I think that should be fine. Um, and I, I have I have served uh, Minecraft servers and websites and whatnot from my wireless laptop before. Um, but yeah, now I'm wanting to use a couple of desktops. So we're going to see uh, how well these work. Now, before we install, I'm going to go to speedtest.net, of course, and. Um, <sighs> begin test, fancy graphics, um, and I'm just going to check, alright, I have a ping of 21 milliseconds, um, I'll check my download and upload speed, while that's going, yeah, I'll basically tell you what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to plug in, um, receiver number one, downstairs, where my modem comes in, because I have cable internet right now, or my house does, um, I used to have DSL, which was actually really convenient, because I actually, um, right before we switched away from DSL, I actually found out that I could bring the DSL modem up here and plug it into my, my uh, phone cord, but I don't have a cable plug in my room. Um, that's why I need the, um, the adapters, because, yeah, I don't have a cable plug in my room, and I also have no way of getting Ethernet cable from downstairs to up here. Um, even though, really, the entire thing is, like, less than 10 feet away. Like, the corner of my room is, like, right above where our modem is downstairs. Um, it's just, you know, we don't really want to drill a hole on the floor. <laughs> and, um, also another concern I was having about this was the fact that my house has different, um, circuits for different rooms. But I'll, I'll go into that in a bit. Alright, so my download speed on wireless right now was 20... Um, megabytes per second download and upload speed was four uh, megabytes per second. So you know, um, you know, in in effect, it's always really funny because speedtest.net always seems to give me this really high speeds, and then when I'm downloading something, then it's usually a lot slower than that. Um, but yeah, that's what I have right now: 20 down, four up, and a ping of 21 milliseconds. 
Um, so yeah, I will return to this website after we do all of this. So once again, my setup is going to be my modem um, being plugged into the cable uh, plug in the wall downstairs, and you know, an Ethernet cable comes out of that, plugs into adapter number one, adapter number two is here in my room, and then I'm going to have an Ethernet cable come and um, be sitting here on my uh, dresser with the wireless router. So yeah, once again, pretty much all of the internet traffic in this house will be going through these adapters. That's why it's really important that they are, you know, high quality. That's why I got the, the faster ones rather than the slower ones. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the tripod right now so that I can go over and show you the unboxing, which I've already done, but I'll kind of show you how it was set up. All right, once again, using the piece of crap tripod, so bear with me. All right, so here is the box, um, you know, mono price. I absolutely love this company. Um, like, they're right up there with Newegg. <laughs> Basically, I, I buy from them quite a bit. Um, and this came with, you know, uh, some of those jumbo air bubbles um, and receipt that I'll probably not have in the video. And here we have the box. Now, this was interesting. Um, I, I wasn't concerned for the safety of what I bought. Um, sorry, just adjusting the tripod here. I was not concerned with the safety of what I bought. Uh, however, it was a little peculiar how this was set up. Um, it wasn't really taped shut in any way, which, you know, was not a problem, but it just came open like this. Um, there was basically a piece of paper lying over these, and that was about it. These were not taped down or anything, which, once again, is no big deal. It's just uh, a little different from what I'm used to seeing. So both of these are just plugged into, um, or not actually plugged into, but, you know, the plugs are going into the slots and the cardboard um, there. So, and I am attempting to keep these in the correct order because I heard on the Monoprice website from some people that these work only if you have them, you know, set up in the correct order. Not really sure how that works, but uh, whatever. So here we have a couple of slots that I'm trying to trying to grab from behind the camera. And there we go. All right, so this comes up, and um, here we have two Cat5 cables. These are not 5E. Apparently, these are just 5, so that's a little weird. But, oh, these are Cat 5E. Huh. They said they were just 5. But, alright, not complaining. Um, so, yeah, it is nice. This comes with two more Ethernet cables. Um, so, this is going to be, like, I won't have to worry about stretching myself thin with those. Um, really nice that they give you those two Ethernet cables. Um... And here we have, uh, it's a little weird, we've got a user's manual and a setup utility, but we've also got a quick installation guide. Apparently there are some extra encryption options you can set up with Windows, but these were advertised as being able to be used with things like um, media centers, so like Blu-ray players and whatnot. So I don't think that's required. Uh, if it is, I'll have to figure out how to connect to this via my Windows um, virtual machine, but installation, one. Plug the power out, or yeah, plug into a power outlet. Do not use a power strip or UPS with the wall mount device, of course, because these are going to need the varied electrical signals. So if you're using something that dampens those, um, like yeah, uninterruptible power supply, obviously is made specifically not to let these signals through. So, um, so yeah, you're going to need to have this plugged into its own outlet. I'm actually plugging this into a completely different circuit than the rest of my room because I know my CRTs can create uh, some fluctuation in, in the power distribution of my room uh, based on personal experience. So yeah, I will be plugging this into... There's one outlet in my room that's on a separate circuit than the rest of the outlets in my room, so I'll be plugging these into that, that outlet. Um, and two, use a twisted pair cable with RJ40. All right, twisted pair. Does that mean that these don't work with uh, straight ones at all? Because that would be pretty interesting. But, you know, that's okay. Um, plug into Ethernet device and Ethernet or of Powerline Bridge. Huh. All right, well, um, there are also these, these um, secure slash reset buttons on them that I heard you have to press. So I'm just going to basically go downstairs, um, plug this into um, 
into the outlet down there and plug the modem. I think I'm going to use these just because they came with it. They should provide the fastest speed possible, or at least I would hope so. They are Cat 5e, and they're brand new as well. So, yeah. How long are these? I'm just going to see. Because if they're long enough, then yeah, I'd be more than happy to use brand new cables. Once again, this is going to be running my entire house's uh, internet, if this works correctly. So, um, and that's actually, it's not super long. I've got a longer one, but, you know, these are actually not that bad at all. So yeah, I'm going to go downstairs, plug the modem into, uh, into this, and then I'll come back up here and show you what happens when I plug the second one in. Um, and once again, when I unplug the modem, the internet will go out. So just be aware of that in case you didn't already know that unplugging the modem would make your, um, make your internet go out. Of course, it will. So yeah, be right back after that. Alright, I just plugged that in downstairs, and, um, it appeared to be working. All of the lights lit up. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to now plug this in up here, and I did grab our router. Um, so yeah, once again, my modem is still downstairs, um, but now the router is up here, and I'm going to, uh, yeah, plug it into... Now, I will unplug these things for now. Um, so, yeah, now I'm going to bring this over to the outlet I'm planning on using. And that outlet is right here. Uh, I know it's kind of out, of out of view of everything, but it's right there, and it is on a separate circuit than the rest of my room. So if I ever, like, turn on 10 CRTs at one time in my room... Um, I am hoping, or at least the point of this plan, is that um, the internet shall not be affected, because this is on a circuit with my dad's office, which all he has in there is like a desk lamp. Um, he's got an iMac G3, but he never uses it, because it doesn't have internet. Go figure. <laughs> Maybe we can um, work on that with this project as well, but I'll just plug this in right here. And as you can see, the lights come on. Um, that's different from what the other one did. Ah, the switch. Oh, no, the switch has nothing to do with it. Okay. Um, try plugging it in to the top one. Hmm. Same thing happens. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna plug it back into the bottom one, and... So, here is my router's power cord. Um... Plug that in, and the lights are lighting up, so I know it's doing something. I'm going to plug in the internet, and now we're going to walk back over to... Oh, this is so sad. Um, <laughs> back over to here. I'm not going to adjust the tripod again right now. Uh, hopefully you can you can see that a bit. There we go. Oh, hey, it came back. It's coming back on periodically. I think that... Oh, wow, if that's all that I needed to do is plug this in. All right, so I have plugged that into there. And I'm uh, going to... I'm going to plug this in again. And the lights are staying on. Sweet. Okay. So, um... Oh, dude. Dude. Okay, this is great. Over here, my router, the internet light is blinking. Um, I'm wondering if my router has fully started up yet. I'm going to check my, my computer still has the wireless card in. Okay, sweet. So now I'm going to have to plug this into uh, my computer and take my computer's wireless card, plug it in in the computer downstairs. Um, but that was really easy. Okay, um, so I guess that'll be the end of the video. Yeah, all I had to do was plug in the Ethernet cable downstairs, you know, from the modem to the thing, and I had to plug in it up here from the uh, adapter to the router. Uh, as promised, I will run another speed test. 
All right. Ping is now 25 milliseconds. Whoa. This is what I'm talking about. See, the problem with cable over DSL is with DSL, you get slower speeds, but you get more consistent speeds. With cable, though, um, your speeds can vary quite a bit. For reasons I'll go into in another video. Uh, I don't see any noticeable difference. Don't see any measurable difference at all. We've got 25 millisecond ping, which is, yeah, not that different at all. We've got 37.75 megabytes per second download, and we've got a 4 megabyte upload speed just like before. So I honestly, I, I think that is, I'm, I'm going to call it the exact same. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> huh. So, um, uh, yeah, that, that was, that was a lot easier than I thought this would be. I was honestly really concerned about this whole thing, but, uh, I mean, yeah, all I had to do was just, I, I, all you have to do, just imagine that, that the two adapters are a cord, and just plug the two cords you want connected into both ends, and they'll just, they'll do it automatically, you don't even have to hit the, hit the sync button, so, um, so yeah, that is how you set up your, um, at least your monoprice brand of, power line to ethernet, or ethernet to power line, ethernet over power line adapters, and, um, yeah, I will have the link to the specific model in this, this video's description, and, um, uh, yeah, that was really freaking easy. Once again, I love Mono Price, and, um, I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm there in the street, and I will see you later. See ya.